Hey everyone, welcome to the Audio Hotline, the podcast and YouTube channel where I review podcasting gear as well as some audio production gear. Today, we have a little bit of an underrated microphone in the studio. We have the Shure SM86, and this is a handheld condenser microphone. I was looking online recently and noticed that there aren't really many reviews of this microphone. People don't really talk about it a whole lot. And supposedly it's won sure some microphone awards. Today, the goal is to see if this microphone is right for your podcast. I don't know if it's going to be a voiceover mic. We'll see how it sounds. Potentially your gaming YouTube microphone. And uh, maybe we'll do a little music test too. But for now, let's get into some of the information and some of the specifications of this microphone. To start out, I will say that this microphone is a little bit higher priced than your SM58, SM57s. This microphone does cost $179. And honestly, I looked for this microphone used for a really long time and just never found one. And if I did find a used one, the price was just so high. That is a common thing with Shure microphones, though. They do hold their value extremely well. Because of that, it's worth it to buy new. And if you ever decide to sell it, you'll know that you'll get quite a bit of money back. This microphone is a handheld condenser microphone. And I truly have a fascination with handheld condensers because I think that they're easy to travel with. I think that they'd be nice to just throw in your backpack, take them on the road if you do need to record a podcast or a video or whatever you need to do. They're a little bit more sturdy than just those standard condenser microphones, so you can expect a little bit more of a beating to take place and them still be okay. As far as my first impression of this microphone goes, it honestly feels like an SM58, which makes me happy. It's sturdy as hell, feels fantastic. I have no complaints about the build whatsoever. This microphone doesn't have any switches on it. It doesn't have any high pass filters, any pads or anything like that. It's just a straightforward microphone that you sing into, talk into, play into, and what you see is what you get. So what comes in the package is a pretty standard Shure setup. It's the leather zipped pouch, which is nice. It's not padded, but it's good. It's the terrible Shure mic clip, and as you can see, I'm not using it. And it is the Shure Giant sticker. Now let's go ahead and talk about some of the specifications of this microphone. So as I stated earlier, this is a handheld condenser microphone, and the frequency range on this microphone is from 50 hertz to 18 kilohertz. The polar pattern on this microphone is a cardioid, and it has an impedance of 150 ohms. It has a typical self noise of 23 decibels. So you probably guessed that this is an XLR microphone, and it does require phantom power. So you will probably need an audio device of some sort that can power this microphone and that has some XLR ports on it. Right now I am currently using the Zoom H5 with my gain set at 50% and just using a standard Mogami XLR cable. As far as the frequency chart goes, this mic doesn't look super flat. It does have a pretty boosted high end, especially in the 8 to 9 kilohertz. I'll put this on the screen so you can go ahead and check this out. One more thing I'll mention before we get to some of the tests is that I would recommend buying this windscreen. It is actually made by Shure, and it fits it perfectly. It's made for it. For some of the tests, I'm going to use this, so if you like the way it sounds with this on, then absolutely get one. Now let's move past all that nerdy shit and get to the fun stuff. This is how the SM86 sounds with the proximity effect. So if you like putting your lips on the grill and you like eating the microphone, you sicko, then this is the sound you can expect from it. Now this is the proximity test with the windscreen on. So if you like getting really close to the mic, this can be a nice way to curb some of those plosives. And as you can tell, they aren't quite as bad as when I didn't have the windscreen on. Peter Piper picked a patch of pickled penises. Now a little less intense. Peter Piper picked a patch of pickled penises. Peter Piper picked a patch of pickled penises. Less intense. Peter Piper picked a patch of pickled penises. 
Now I'm going to go ahead and do a background noise rejection test. I have my trusty Apple keyboard here, and I'm just going to bang on this to an unreasonable degree, and we'll see how this rejects the sound behind the microphone. So this is me typing really hard on the Apple keyboard, and I'm assuming that a lot of you podcasters use a similar keyboard to this. Sorry, video gamers, that it's not as clicky as yours, but don't worry. I'm hitting it pretty hard, so it might represent it okay. So this is the background noise rejection that you can expect from this microphone. So this is the sound of the microphone as I move it to the side and as I move it a little bit further away from my mouth. And now here is the sound of me being exactly 180 degrees behind the microphone. <laughs> Tell me what I'm supposed to do When everything reminds me of you You know it breaks my heart in half When you tilt your head back and laugh I personally really like this microphone. I think it sounds really good on the voice. I think it sounds good on spoken word. I think it'd be a great podcast and a great portable podcast microphone. I'm not crazy about it on instruments. I do think it sounds fine, but I do think that the 57 does a better job. I do think that this would be a great live vocal mic, though. And I personally think that the 4.7 out of 5 star rating online is perfect. I think that's pretty much what I would give it, maybe a little bit higher. To give it a five, I feel like it'd have to be a pretty good all-around microphone, and I feel like this is more just for voice, although I'm sure it would sound good on some other things. So yes, I would absolutely recommend buying this microphone for your podcast and just to get it in your arsenal. I'm sure that if you use it, you'll love it on something. Thanks for watching my review of the SM86 today. I appreciate it. Stay tuned for more videos. And if you have any ideas of what microphones you want me to review next, go ahead and leave a comment and I'll get to them. Thanks for watching the audio hotline. I'll see you next time.